two blokes and a bus celebrated their one-year anniversary outside the Alamo yesterday afternoon. This double-decker food bus hit the streets when a former restaurant worker decided that after 25 years in the business, it was time to change things up. Originally from England, Stefan Block believed this was the next big thing here in America. About a year ago, I, uh, I met a business partner. We decided to start a food truck, because food trucks are pretty cool right now, and they're the big hip-hop kind of thing in the United States. And so we, uh, we, we did one better, and we actually went ahead and got started a bus to run. There are many things that make this food bus different from your average food trucks. Once food has been ordered, guests are welcome to climb on board to the second floor of the bus and have their food delivered to them. This, along with other aspects of the bus, is what student Melissa Fortes says has made her two blokes and a bus experience a positive one. First time I heard about it, I was like, okay, I love food trucks, like they always have that in Chicago, and so I didn't realize you could actually eat on the truck, because normally you can't, so getting my food and then bringing it up there, like, it's awesome. The food's great, the atmosphere is great, the guys, the staff is awesome, and it's, just, it's a great experience. This bus does not stay put for long. One of Stefan's favorite things about owning a mobile food bus is that it allows him to interact with other local businesses. We mix it up. We believe in shopping local, believe in the local fare. So we try to stick with all the local businesses as much as we possibly can. We look, that way we can help promote when they're in their parking lot, because in that way we can bring people to their business too. Two blokes in a bus can typically be found outside the Alamo on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but don't expect consistency when it comes to their menu items. These guys like to change it up. For 10 on 10, I'm Mari Perez.